Good day ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to step-by-step um, ASP.net. Uh, this is going to be the first video and here I'm going to be showing you uh, how easy it is to create your first website. Um, I hope you've downloaded the uh, Visual Web Developer 2008 which I'm, which I'm going to be using. The Express Edition is a free application <laughs> People usually say Microsoft don't give, give free stuff, <laughs> so they, they they're very wrong because this um, application is very very powerful. You can use it to create a full blown web application, and it's all free. Anyway, let's get down to business. <coughs> so, um, uh, for you to create a new website, um, you can either click on this small um, round globe uh, to create a new website. Or you can use this um, s link here to create a website so when you cl click on the link um, by default you choose the ASP.NET website which is what you want to create uh, we don't want to create a web service or an empty website now so we're going to be creating a ASP.NET website uh, we're going to store the files on our system on our computer system so that's why we're going to be choosing the file system you can also use the HTTP or the FTP which I'm going to be covering in details in the future uh, you have two language uh, two choices of language either the Visual Basic or the Visual C Sharp I'm going to be using the Visual C Sharp in this video <coughs> so uh, this is where you get to choose where you want to store the file by default it stores it in the my document section under the visual studio 2008 folder then under the websites folder so this is the part you have to change for your website name so this website i'm going to call it quick start uh, if you want to choose somewhere else to place your files you can just click on the browse button and just um, choose where you think is uh, is nice I'm going to cancel out because I'm perfectly happy with where is the default location and I'm going to ch uh, choose uh, I'm going to show you how to choose to use a different framework here I'm going to be using the dotnet framework 3.5 so I'm going to hook it that and um, the visual web developer will uh, create some files um, <coughs> which I'm going to show you in the next video where it places those, file, those files so uh, this is what the the initial view is and this is the code view the source view uh, that's what it shows you by default this is where you see the code that make up your page if you get scared of uh, if you are very <laughs> scared of uh, the codes you can uh, always change it which I'm going to show you in a minute here you can mess about you can say my website you can change the title to my website and um, um, if you look on the right hand side you can say it creates a web.config file which is the configuration file for your website we'll talk more about that in the future the default or ASPX is the default page that's your own page this is the first page that will be um, looked for when you run your application and the app underscore data folder which we'll talk more as well in the future so just like I said before you can I you can either work in this format you can start typing inside the div tag this is my website uh, or if you are very scared of code you don't want to see the code you can use the split view which um, enables you to work to see the uh, design and the code at the same time this is what I previously typed and it's automatically displayed in the view so if I press the uh, enter button you can, use, you can see that it's creating the line break for us automatically so I can go ahead and say here we'll learn how to develop ASP.NET. If if you notice that as I'm typing, it's actually modifying the code at the uh, at the top at the same time. So 
uh, this gives you more flexibility you can work in the design view and see the code you can work in the code section and see it in the design view or you can just go to the design view without having to uh, see the code at all you know because I know some people don't like to see the code and the beauty of ASP.NET is you don't have to see the code there is a lot of uh, things you can do <coughs> on your website without having to write any form of code whatsoever so um, that's just a quick start so now how do you see your website the one that you just create um, to run your application all you have to do is just click on this small p green play button which is going to be a start debugging so it pops up with um, uh, a warning asking you if you want to enable debugging in your web.config file it's talking about this file right here web.config file if you enable debugging that means um, your website will be debugging your application I'll explain what debugging mean in the near future um, but uh, this debugging uh, this um, if you click OK this is special code is going to be placed in your web.config file so that every time you run on your website it will be debugged so before you deploy your application I mean whenever you want to def de deploy your application to the internet for your users you have to disable debugging because the <laughs> you don't want to enable debugging when you are making your website to be live on the internet all those things will be explained very clearly in the near future so just ok this <coughs> and uh, your default browser will pop up my default browser is uh, internet explorer which pops up right here and everything that we've typed will be shown Can you, as you see this is what we type and this is our first page so this page can be uploaded to the internet now and uh, it's ready to go uh, the beauty of uh, visual web developer 2008 express edition you know what that is mouthful from now on I'm going to be using Visual Studio because <laughs> that's more easy to pronounce okay uh, the beauty of it is is that it has a um, built-in web server as you can see we don't ha we didn't have to mess around with uh, the high IS or the Apache web server or any other web server whatsoever or have to upload it to the internet we have uh, this web server built-in right into Visual Studio which makes our life so easy and um, I'm going to be touching on everything I'm even going to show you how to use IIS if you decide to use IIS I'm also going to show you how to you know upload your application to the internet so that uh, it can be live and everybody can use it so um, can you as you can see the quick start that's where we uh, put our, um, our uh, files and the default is the one that shows up so we can close out of here and, um, and that's it really so go ahead create your first uh, web application uh, just a simple page and come back to the next video and see how to add more pages and uh, other stuff thank you